The next thing we're going to show you is how to use the dye sublimation printer. We are using it using Photoshop also. Um, there will be a select number of videos that you'll be able to follow in the future which will show you how to get a logo similar to this. The next thing that we need to do is we go up to image and we need to make sure that we rotate the image or flip it over. The reason for this is when we print it onto the fabric that we're going to print it onto, we need to make sure that we see almost a mirror image of what we see on the screen. So simply what we're going to do now is we're going to press file, print, we go to the Rico printer and we make sure that it's sitting where it fits into the scale of the media. When we're happy we press print. And then from there we're going to take it over to the heat press.